Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all happy and healthy. Um, I just want to say thank you to those that watched my previous video on flexibility and mobility and left your feedback. It's really much appreciated. Even if you didn't like it, it's just good to know um, where I can improve. So yes, thank you for that. Um, today I'll be going over Soraya Amaskar, which is done the Iyengar Yoga way. There are many variations to this salutation, so this is just the one I enjoy and the one I know. Um, to start off with, I'm going to be doing some warm-up stretches, just so you know you're not diving into the mat and just throwing yourself right in there. You're grounding yourself, getting yourself ready, and preparing for what is about to come. Okay, so we're going to start off with a few neck stretches and spinal twists, just to warm ourselves up. A little bit before our salutation. Um, it's best to sit on a cushion, a folded up towel or blanket, just so that your knees are below your belly button. Uh, this just helps with the circulation of the blood to your legs so there's no restriction. Um, um, so placing your hands on your, your knees, spine straight, shoulders down and relaxed. You can just roll them up towards your ears and then drop them down. And on an inhale, on an exhale, so inhale, exhale, lower your chest, stretching the back of your neck. Inhale, exhale, drop your head back. Relax your face and your jaw and feel the stretch in the front of your neck. Inhale, and then exhale, chin to chest. You can close your eyes if you want to. And just enjoy the stretch. Be gentle with yourself. So on your inhale, you're going to bring your head to centre and then on your exhale, let your head drop back. Inhale to center, exhale to your chest. Okay, so the next one we're going to be doing is on your inhale, so inhale, exhale, drop your head towards your right shoulder. If, if this is um, a deep enough stretch for you, then that's fine. If you want to increase the intensity, lower your hands to the floor, your fingers to the floor. And just hold it there and feel the nice stretch along your neck and down your shoulder. Inhale, head to center. Exhale, head to shoulder, left shoulder, fingers touching the floor. And again. Inhale to center, exhale to left shoulder. So just breathe here for a few breaths, just breathe a few breaths, yeah. <laughs> Inhale to center. Just roll your shoulders again, just to make sure they're down and relaxed. And we're going to lower our heads and then just rotate to the right. Rotate to the left, go slowly. Okay, and then the next one we're going to do is go all the way around. So we'll be doing full head rotations with our necks. Yeah. 
down to your shoulder and forward. With your chin to your chest, inhale and exhale. Roll your head to the left shoulder, round and back to the front. Inhale and your exhale. Roll your head to the right, back. We're going to do it one more time. Inhale and exhale to the right. Oh, the left, excuse me. <laughs> exhale all the way around. Bring your head to center. We're going to just look over our right shoulder. So head turn, don't turn your body. We're just head turning, looking over our right shoulder. Inhale to center, and your exhale, look over your left shoulder. In between these, you could just roll your shoulders up towards your ears and drop them down again, just to make sure that your shoulders are down and relaxed. Back to centre, we're going to place our right hand behind our tailbone, left hand on our knee, and we're just going to do a gentle twist to the side, and exhale, so think of it like you're wringing out a cloth, so on your exhale, so inhale, <laughs> on your exhale, wring yourself out like a cloth, you're massaging all your internal organs, and make sure your right shoulder isn't crunched up to your ear. Look over your shoulder if you can, over your right shoulder if you can. Inhale, bring it to the front. Exhale to the left. Look over your left shoulder. And bring it back to the front. And one more time. I'm going to start off slowly um, and just go over each movement with you and the breath that should go along with that movement um, just so you, you um, can link the two together. I'm also going to be doing it with my feet slightly wider than my hips just to make space for my stomach. So we're going to start at the front of our mats. With your feet together make sure you have a good foundation and your foot is um, fully engaged with, on the floor. Engage your core, tuck in your tailbone, um, pull your belly button towards your spine, hands, on, hands towards your side, fingers point, pointing towards the floor, and just breathe here for a few breaths. So this is mountain pose, and then bring your hands to your chest. Namaskarasana, but I'm, I'm not too sure what that translates to, so. And then on your inhale, lift your hands towards the ceiling and we do a gentle back bend. Exhale, forward fold. So just hang out here, but just so you get a nice deep stretch in the back of your legs, making sure your hips are over your ankles so that you're engaging your entire leg and you're not leaning back. Um, to compensate for your knees. If this is too intense, you can always bend your knees and just make sure your, your, your back is straight or your spine is in a good position. You don't want to be rounding your back like that. And then come into half lift on your inhale. And then on your exhale, you're going to go up into um, your high plank. So jump or step back. Always jump with your knees bent. So 
because it's quite a fast movement, um, going into your high plank and then low, pan, low plank, um, that's all done on an exhale. So it's quite, it's quite a fast move. But if you need to inhale at any point before you go into that, just stop and do so, you know. Um, so yeah, from your high plank, now if going into low plank is too intense for you, just bring your knees on the floor, um, elbows towards the back of the room, chest towards the floor, but don't drop your chest onto the floor. So chaturanga, high plank, and then inhale, downward facing dog. And again, just hang out here, enjoy this stretch. Push up through your fingers so you're not putting strain on your wrists. Push your tailbone towards the back of the room. And if you just if you want to just sort of um, increase your stretch in your legs, bring your left knee towards your left armpit and push back on your right knee so that you're getting a nice deep stretch at the back of your right leg. Relax your head and then switch legs. Right knee to right armpit. And push back onto your left leg. Okay. And then on your next exhale, we'd be going back into high plank, low plank. And then inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back into Chaturanga. Inhale, back into your downward facing dog. And then we're going to jump or step to the front of our mat. Forward fold. Inhale, lift your arms, hands to chest. And just slow your breath down in this position before starting again. I'll put the, the name, the Sanskrit names of these um, movements in the description of the video. So if you're keen to learn how to pronounce them, then that's fantastic. Um, so let's do that one more time. I'm not going to name the, pro the um, postures, or sorry, the movements. I'll just let you know when to inhale, okay? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. enjoyed that uh, it is quite a um, it is quite a fast-paced salutation but it's all about getting your cardiovascular fitness your heart rate up um, the blood flowing you sweating so yeah it can be quite intense if you're new and your fitness levels aren't um, where you'd like them to be then just do that maybe two or three times just so you get accustomed to it and you know you're not throwing yourself into it obviously the, the fitter you this is um 
enough for you. I mean, this is also a really good way to warm up before uh, an even um, longer yoga session. So that's really, that's really great. But if this is all that you want to do, um, I highly suggest laying down and doing Savasana, Savasana corpse pose. So it's just a relaxing pose so that you, you know, you lower your heart rate, you relax your body because it is quite intense and um, you just shut off your mind and have like two or three minutes just to to ground yourself and yeah, relax. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please let me know what you think. Um, again, if you have any requests or anything you'd like to see, please let me know. Um, with my tummy growing, it's also going to be a bit more difficult to perform certain things, but yeah, watch the space.